welcome to another video and we are starting off with the team transports that I got recently so yeah I bought managed to get all three as we can see here on the back the set had three silhouette skyline then a Plymouth Cuda and obviously there we have the Porsche 962 so yes these are some really awesome finds I found them in a local toy shop quite a small one uh, they were £16 each, so they're quite expensive, so it was quite a fair amount of money to buy all three, but it was definitely well worth it. So these are definitely a really awesome thing, especially for me over here. This is the first time I've actually ever seen a team transport car culture set, so this was a really awesome find. I had heard from other people that this set was over here, but I wouldn't yet, but I didn't yet find it until then. So yeah, this is awesome. This is like the second one of these I've ever featured. This being the first, which I uh, showed a very long time ago. This was actually bought for me by a good friend of mine, which was very nice of him. So yeah, I cannot wait to crack it open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice around the edge a very... Oh, hang on. I'll make it so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm going to slice around the edge very carefully with a sharp knife. That way, I can sort of keep it in the box to display it but also take it out and have a better look well, I did score a bit of the cardboard in there but that's all right shouldn't matter too much basically I have no way of really showcasing displaying or protecting things of this size so I feel like keeping the box in a cut state is just a best the best way of keeping these uh, reasonably safe I think so it's obviously got a back insert, which we need to sort of pull out. There we are, that's pretty cool. I, mean, I suppose they're reasonably secure with this insert, but this way I can... Um, I'm not too fussed about the box, it's more about keeping this intact. And if I ever want to display it, that's probably the easiest way. Unless if one day I built a display, it had the, the size of these in mind. Right, so... Got another little slip of plastic there, very cool. And there we have it, out comes the transporter and the awesome Porsche. Right, so let's start with the transporter. Oh yeah, there's a bit of plastic in here as well. Oh, crikey, plastic everywhere. So let's start with the transporter. This one has the shell livery, Porsche written down there. Nice rims on this one. This one has a metal base called the Secura Sprinter. So this has a very nice, so this has got a very cool front design. Um, camera, can you focus on the vehicle, not my hand please? So this looks really, really cool. Um, forgive me, I don't actually know if this is a real truck. I've never heard of a Secura Sprinter before, but it does look very cool chromed out front, got all the little indicators marked up, shell written on the front, the stripe, and a black front splitter, which is really, really cool. Chrome out fuel, chromed out fuel tanks, the uh, truck and the base is all metal. I'm sure most of you have these and probably have opened them yourself. But yeah, I thought I'd share this experience because this is completely new to me. Uh, but apart from the other one that I showed earlier, these are all I've got for the team transport sets. So very, very cool. The back opens out and you can store your car inside which is really really awesome all this bit here is plastic but feels pretty well made um safe to say it does feel quite a lot better than this one and considering that's a big empty box that's quite impressive that one was the carry-on from a box set i got recently but yeah oh wow oh this feels so good this is really really nice so there's the base, the Porsche 962, nice slick tyres, some awesome retro racing style wheels, and again, keeping the shell theme, we have the shell logo on there, the Porsche logo on the back, number 17, oh this is really really cool, oh, it's just so weighty and nice, it's all metal so it's just really weighty this car really really like that Xiaomi M2000 got some stickered on lights on the front there little windscreen wiper Porsche logo on the top there 
on the back there we've got some little light details as well I mean this just speaks for itself I think it's a really nice looking thing and the weight of it it's just I can't describe it but it's just really really nice weight to it and of course it can sort of drive up into its truck and be traded away and it even has a decent um it's only friction but it has a decent friction fit on the top there to stop it falling out awesome so I suppose it has its own storage for the car being in the truck but obviously kind of want to keep the truck in good condition too so uh, yeah pretty awesome so there we are I think that's about everything covered these won't be very long videos because it's only two vehicles isn't it but yeah I think um they are very very cool indeed it's awesome to actually be able to get some for once um, and find some in a uh, local store because um, part of the excitement of all this is finding them in your own peg hunt and I'm sure everyone can agree with that buying them online just doesn't have the same cool factor if you get what I mean but yeah stay tuned because there's two more of these to come up and I'll be opening them as well so uh, thank you for watching let me know what you think of this down below are you hunting for it yourself and to my fellow UK followers have you been able to find these and if so where have you found them I've heard people saying they exist but I'm not quite sure where I'm pretty sure someone said they're in the entertainer but the one I went to didn't have them in at all there we are thanks for watching good luck in all your peg hunts and I shall be sure to see you in the next video so until then <laughs>